Bill Cosby reportedly seeking a plea deal to avoid prison time. Now, um, you know, we've, we've, we've talked about it, we've joked about it, we've laughed about it, uh, but Bill Cosby committed some sex crimes. And according to a source close to the comedian, the producer, the actor, he's looking for a plea deal to guarantee that his case never goes to trial. As of now, Cosby has been charged with three felony counts of aggravated indecent assault uh, for an incident that occurred back in 2004. Overall, more than 50 accusations of sexual assault have been thrown at Mr. Cosby. Trial is scheduled to start in June. Now, uh, according to the source, Cosby is seeking the plea deal because he believes that if he's convicted, he may die in jail. And uh, his family believes that he is eligible for a sentence of just probation uh, and, uh, you know, remove the threat for him dying in prison. I mean, he's, he's older. Um, so, you know, we'll have to see what happens there. I mean, I, I would hate to see Bill Cosby uh, just on trial this summer. That would that would just be um, be bad. That would be bad. Uh, but uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, at the Diamond K Show. Bill Cosby, does he need to go through this whole trial? Does he need to do the whole perp walk in and out of court this summer? Is that something that you're looking forward to seeing? Um, damn, Bill Cosby, it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's unfortunate. Last thing that I want to talk about, I know I said that was the last thing, and I, and, and I see my uh, interns looking at me like that. The football player, Will Smith, his killer found guilty in the shooting death of the uh, former New Orleans Saints uh, star. You remember that. Uh, found guilty of manslaughter. And um, the guy, Cardell Hayes, said that he was acting in self-defense. He said that the NFL star threatened his life, threatened to kill him. Hayes said that he was in fear for his life. Okay. Uh, and that he was acting in self-defense in this road rage incident. We've seen camera footage of that. Uh, however, the claim was rejected by this 12-person jury in a week-long trial. He now faces 20 to 40 years in prison. That is unfortunate. For all accounts, many people affected by this death. But I want to say this. If Hayes the defendant, the accused, or convicted, if he had been a white male, let's say he had been a white police officer, how different would this outcome have been? Because it's black-on-black -black crime, oh, easy, boom, no problem, no hung jury. We've seen video evidence in less than a week, week before this case where there was video evidence of the shooting, shooting in the back, Hung jury there. But in this case, black on black crime, no video of the shooting, no hung jury either. Convicted, guilty, boom, no problem. Police officer, he's in fear for his life. Regular uh, citizen says he's in fear for his life. Oh, wait, we don't know about that because you're black. Now, I wonder if the fact that there had also been a case where the police killed a relative of Mr. Hayes, if that played any fact into it, that they just had a, a axe to grind with him, uh, you know, we'll see. But honestly, I'm not making any excuses for him killing. I'm only saying if we go by the way things normally are, it seems as if you're white and you kill a black person, you get the benefit of the doubt. A lot of times, black on black crime, guilty. So uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, at the Diamond K Show. And as always, RadioOnFire.com. Stay connected with us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, at Radio on Fire for your chance to win prizes and surprises. If you have something to promote, Radio on Fire is simple and effective. Prices start as low as $50. Visit RadioOnFire.com. Click Get Promo to get started today. 
I will see you guys tomorrow.